In this episode of the Bourbon Guild Review Show, Ben Richards makes a funny face. All this and more when the Bourbon Guild Review Lantern's Special Reserve. It is. I'm sorry. My God, you made me so mad. I spat on the table. It, it just. Welcome to the Bourbon Guild Review Show. Dutch. Jules. Dylan. Ben Richards, the butcher of Bakersfield. All right, guys. In this episode, something you don't see everywhere, Blanton's Special Reserve. Wow. Now, what? not to be confused with Weller Special yeah, Reserve, Weller. which is also green. This is kind of a rare version of Blanton's, and if you are a fan of Blanton's and you've never been outside of the United States, this might look kind of weird to you <laughs> because it's only available You'll overseas. Never get it. Yeah, <laughs> um, and it comes in the box the same way that you, the regular, you know, Blanton's single barrel bourbon does. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and take it out of here. Um, bottle looks pretty much exactly the same, except it has a green ribbon around the outside, and um, it's a different proof. Yeah. So, I mean, the, the horse is up here. Um, it has a B, so they, they still have the little letter that corresponds with, you know, B-L-A-N-T-O-N-S. Um, only available overseas. Proof comes at you at 80 proof. That's oh, 40%, so it's a little less than the, the standard Blanton's, which is 93, I think. Um, this particular bottle was dumped on October 19, 2015, from Warehouse H, like all Blanton's is. Um, Barrel number 552, five, Rick number 4, and this is bottle number 48. Great thing about Blanton's is they put that on every single bottle, which is pretty cool. Right. Um, now, it is, like I said, only available in other markets. This was actually procured in Germany by our very own Ben Richards. And the price paid, it actually has the sticker still on here. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera, but 39 euros. Well, 39.95. Like they call them cents in in the euro, yeah. Mm -hmm. So basically forty euros, but thirty nine ninety five, uh, which equates to about forty five U S dollars. So MSRP I think is right around there forty eight. About forty eight, yeah. Okay. Um, cool bottle. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's a Blanton's bottle. Yeah, it's, it's a Blanton's bottle. We yeah. love the Blanton's bottle. It looks beautiful. Um, the green label makes it maybe look a little more unique. Um, it definitely would stand out. It does stand mm -hmm. out. Uh, now, is it is it 700 mil? This is 700 milliliters. So a lot of export bottles that go to Europe are 700 milliliters as opposed to 750. So a little bit either, I mean, do they use smaller bottles or do they just fill them a little less? I think they fill them less. They have to. That's I don't know. the same I mean, size bottle. Compare it with uh, the, the it regular really, there. It, it looks thinner. Is, thinner. I think it is a little thinner, yeah. actually. Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. We'll, yeah. we'll do a comparison on a later yeah. show. Um, but I'm going to crack this open. All right. And why can't not? wait. Do we have any more background on this? Yeah. Do we know anything I have, else about I mean, it? I'm, I'm kind of kind of conflicted because I got a lot of information. I, I'm just going to say whatever Let's and you it. guys can just cut Screw it. But out, let me ask you guys, though. Do you know why they have an 80 proof? I mean, other yeah. than to, like, kill me. Well, there's, there's certain. You know, it's like, <laughs> oh, they just want to <laughs> yeah, bottle water. There's, there's certain markets you. where you can't sell stuff over. Very good. Oh. That's right. That's so right. So it's not a big you to Dylan. No, no, no. Well, it might be. It well, might be. That's true. Well, I mean, most of the world is basically that. It's yeah. kind of a win-win. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. true. All right, so let me go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to go through this here. Um, so distributor, mm -hmm. Age International slash uh, Sazerac. Distiller is Buffalo Trace. Mash bill number two. Cask four. Age six to eight years. Uh, this is 80 proof. Uh, retail 48. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, this is, I think this one... It, I mean, I don't know if this was specifically for uh, Germany, but they have it for the UK and et cetera, et cetera, and they have it in 70 mils, 700 mils. Um, the uh, it, it's actually named after after uh, Colonel Albert Blanton, um, who worked at the Buffalo Trace Distillery in the 1890s. He started at <laughs> you had to pour a little extra for well proof. <laughs> yeah, he started at Buffalo Trace in uh, 1897. He was there when George T. Stagg took over. In 1912, well, Dylan, yeah, I am going to cut you off because we can just show everybody our our actual regular Blanton's episode for all this information. Oh, that's right? true. Yeah, that's true. All right. Well, you know, so guys, if you want to know all that stuff, uh, check out the link. There'll be a link up there. 
we'll put it somewhere. Or it'll be in the description or both. And, all right. and check out our review of regular <laughs> And then we're wines. gonna forget. And then they're gonna all go. <laughs> oh, well, let's just get to tasting. All right. I think you know. That's fine. We all know Blanton's, and I think a lot of people out there know the history now. So it's well, uh, easier for me. Yeah. yeah. Well, if you guys are uh, well, if you're new to the Bourbon Guild, though, we do have a ten point grading system. We give uh, two points for the aroma or the nose, three points for complexity, two points for drinkability, three points for uniqueness, and we do have a bonus point for value. So for us, we look at value in terms of its price point and availability. And away we go. That's a tough one, man. Yeah. This was really tough. Knowing the Blantons. Yeah. I mean, it's hard to do this in a vacuum because we've all right. had Blantons. And a lot of oh, us have had some of the other very, the higher proof variations of it. And just, yeah. And, and, you know, the, the name of the game here is, well, I don't remember what I gave the other Blantons. Yeah, I know. I don't either. Hey, Ben, can I ask a question? Sure. Um, when you were traveling, did you see this around a lot? Um, <laughs> Why are you putting water in this? <laughs> Now I, it's no longer it's, it's not, no uh, longer bourbon. It's maybe to say it's, it's no longer bourbon. <laughs> ben, you're off the show. <laughs> now, now it's at seventy. Now it's at seventy. As always, as, since I seem to get kicked off this show with a, <laughs> an alarming regularity, <laughs> tip your bartenders to scoop right. viewers nice now. No, no, no. <laughs> okay, Ben, I, I will defend. I, I gotta, I gotta defend. I, I, yeah. I'll get into it. I gotta defend. No, I think a I'll get into it. But yeah, yeah, we'll get into it. Yeah. Okay, one word: thin. Yeah. That's all I'm doing. Stop Let's... tainting my school. You need Sorry. to thin it out a little more. <laughs> well, I'm trying to tease something out. I'm trying to. It's something. like it's pretty thin. <laughs> uh, to answer your question, yeah, I did not see a lot of this, but I stayed in a small town in eastern Germany where uh, where I have some family that lives, and this is in their gift shop it's it's a liquor store slash gift shop but they have liquor there and they had two bottles the town has a gift shop yeah <laughs> that's awesome it's like a gift no. like a gift store card store like sundries they have and they have a liquor uh like a booze so it's um, like a general store yeah okay all right guys let's get our total scores you don't want to go first, Ben? You don't no, want I don't want to go, okay, first. I'll go first. I'll go first. I'll take, I'll jump right in front You're of going the train. For the hit. I gave it a seven. Wow. Okay. 6.0. Wow. I gave it an eight. Wow. Yeah. Really? I'm, I'm I mean, surprised. for being super thin. I'm All right, really Ben. Surprised. That's why I was struggling. All right, let's hear Ben. Let's hear Ben. Drum roll, please. 5.5. 5. There we go. There we go. I, That's about right. I think we got to talk Dylan down a bit. Actually, I, I, agree. I, so I don't understand his. There, I, don't understand. I don't understand. Seriously, there's there's I don't understand wrong. that at all. We got to talk. Well, let's, we got to talk. Let's, let's yeah. talk through this because yeah. there's actually two what categories. What are you guys was, talking about? There's actually two categories. I was about to drop my That's on. Here. So the first of them was aroma. I mm -hmm. got almost nothing on the nose. I did give it a one. I mean, yeah. it just was unremarkable, yeah. and I almost feel like it wasn't even average. Yeah, I was almost going to go to a point. You did a one. One. Same here. I'm with you. Okay. I mean, there was something there, but it just was so no, so, boring. So, so yeah. I, I, I'm boring. sorry. Go ahead. No, no, that's exactly it. it, it, it that's well, then I'll go ahead. Right, guys, guys, right, one so, word review is boring. <laughs> yeah, boring. No, so, I, I mean, we've had a lot of the regular plantains, right? And so so we know kind of the, the aroma that we're expecting. I, I thought it was going to be, you know, like you have all of the different aromas and then just subdued. What I actually experienced was that a lot of them disappeared. Yeah. That was the sh surprise for me. Well, guys, we should also point out that this is a single barrel bourbon. So yeah. that does mean all we're tasting That's is true. from the particular barrel yeah. this is yeah. done from. So you, but you boy, may get a different experience with your barrel. It's not It's not even about being subdued. So are we asking it, for it forgiveness? No, no, no. It actually out. subtracted a lot of the other aromas that I usually get from a yeah. So, yeah. But I don't know why I should I should bring this down to a 0.5. I, I was thinking the same thing. You know, I think I'm going to bring it down to 0.5. I think, I think the aroma is where it gonna, really disappointed gonna, me. I, I gotta say that I think that's where I need to take. Quite honestly, the aroma is one of the best best things about it for me. Like okay, then, then, that actually reinforces that my. <laughs> yeah, I'm, my I'm, I'm, I'm actually gonna just before you get into Ben. Uh, oh, I, I am no, go ahead. Ahead. Actually, before I do anything, yeah, I want to hear it, Ben. Actually, I'll wait. I'll wait and hear you. Yeah, yeah, let's hear it. Um, I got some familiar notes. I got the uh, like the the you know what I got? I got apple. I got apple, yeah. caramel, mm -hmm. um, I got some sweetness, I got a little bit of that, that ripe tart yeah. bite Definitely from apple, apple. Um, 
And I got, you know, like some of that similar caramel sweetness like that we, and spice that we'd associate with Blanton's, but it was turned down, but it was there. I got it and I, I gave it a 1.5. And quite honestly, like that's where I... Yeah. You know what? You know what? I, I yeah. get it. It's yeah. it's just really you gotta muted. pull it out. It is there. That's it the is proof. There. That's the proof. Yeah. But it's there. But it's yeah, but it's slow. Right. So I'm gonna keep my wine. No, no, no. That's so right. so the you know what this this actually is really disappointing. I gotta say the aroma is really. You gave it an eight. Well, I get a point five. Though. Okay, the aroma. I'm sorry. Okay. So now he's so, down to a seven point five. Yeah. So so that's. Well, let's let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. Let's jump to complexity. This was actually I think one of its strongest categories because what was interesting was even though the proof was dropped. It kind of opened up some of the other flavors yeah. that you could start to pick out. So I got an interesting mintiness. I got the fruits coming through, the, the kind of the, the lighter fruit flavors coming through, a tiny, tiny touch of oak. No rye. No rye. I mean, no rye. despite yeah, no being rye. a higher yeah, rye of no Nashville, rye. I mean, it's it's quite good. I give it a two. I give it a two. Jules. I give it a middle of the road, 1.5. <laughs> wow. And for all the notes you're talking about, I mean, I think part of the problem was like the, the oakiness I mean, it wasn't strong enough. Things weren't pronounced. Uh, you know, I got a lot more sweetness mm -hmm. than I did anything yeah. else. And, yeah. you know, and but that was but it. I, so so it's like, it wasn't sweetness. I, I agree with everything you just said, except it was turned down. It, it yeah. almost felt like I'm, I'm the water of Waterton. And, you know, Ben <laughs> Richards loves adding water to his bourbon. And yeah. even I, like, I added water to this to do something. Yeah. But it was already, it, was, it felt yeah. watered down. It felt, it feels... Yeah. It, 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 yeah. This is like it's almost like an academic exercise. Yeah. Well, for me, it's just kind of like okay, well, look. But here, here's what what I thought was like I picked out things I don't think I've ever picked out in regular Blantons, and really? I'm thinking back to like hmm. the way master distillers taste stuff. Sometimes they dilute it way down, right? Because it, they, they want it. They want it. Kind of separate it out. Yes. Separate it out. And I get that. Yeah. That's why... Mm. I, now, so the, it's interesting. So, so here's, here's my mean. justification, right? Mm. So aroma, basically, whatever they did, which is dilution, uh, they, <laughs> they, they took out a lot of the different different aromas. Mm -hmm. But the complexity was maintained. Yeah, I agree. And, and if, I, if my palate is, you know, what I think it is, I think I gave it the same score the as the Blanton's. Is your palate as big as your ego? Uh, Sorry. I hope it's bigger. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, guys. Um, let's move on to drinkability. Um, you know, low proof kind of gets inflated on drinkability because it's so it goes down easy. Yeah, it's right. One point five. Water. water of water. But I was, yeah, yeah, I was water. actually tempted to bring it down because I'm thinking like it's just not that interesting. interesting. Right. And but the finish exactly. is clean yeah. and it lingers. Yeah, yeah the, the finish, finish is, is actually clean. a surprise yeah. for eighty. Yeah, it's it, much it actually hot. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. So then, what'd you give it? Well, I'm still reeling from that ego uh, comment, <laughs> so, so yeah. I got I got to had to take a minute and recover. But I got to say, I give it a one. Um, really? Wow. I don't like the finish. That you're, I'm with you in a hundred percent. I'm with you. Well, no, that you're the not because you disagreed. <laughs> Can I finish? Can I finish? Go ahead. Go ahead. The finish. I'm with you in that it sticks around, <laughs> but the, it's not pleasing for me. I didn't like the finish, okay. and it's and it does linger. Yeah. I have an aftertaste in my mouth, and I'm not happy with it. Um, yeah, the, everything the, 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 about the flavor, though, like, honestly, like, maybe I, you know what, maybe I'm the expert on this panel of adding water to bourbon and drinking it thin because this tastes thin it's, to it's me all 70, over. 70 proof. It literally tastes like, it tastes like you've added too much water to a bourbon. There's like, <laughs> everything, water. I took I, five drops. Five drops, astute viewers. Somebody do the math on that. All right, all right. No, it tastes like a, somebody put water in I want a slow-mo <laughs> replay on what I did. No, but like, right, we'll, I just, we'll take a look slow-mo yeah, for you. Yeah. But guys, let's just, move it on. Wasn't, to, it wasn't enjoyable. Let's move on okay. to uniqueness. Um, Here's this, where I could come up. Okay, so this to me really? on the palette was a 1.5. The bottle, the fact that it's only overseas, bumped it a 0.5 to a 2 for me. Damn, same. Wow. Exact same reasons. I, I still gave it a perfect. What? what? Yeah. Wait, what? It's really unique. It's still unique. So wait, because two, you can't get it here. You two, can't get it here. Three. What did you give it, Ben? That's not a. I gave it a one point five, and like you can't get yeah. it here. I would bring that up to maybe a two. Listen, <laughs> I, you know what? I think the viewers will wow. agree with me in the end you know because what? I'm gonna call you guys Fine. out on all the other reviews we're gonna Fine. do. If two you are not one. consistent, I, I will. I will bet. That I will maintain consistency. But I came up I think too. Just you, for you guys are gonna be all over the place. Right. I will maintain consistency. Do we need to throughout. go to the tapes and see if you scored regular blend? I know. Here's the best part. He's the most inconsistent. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Well, either Let's way, go I, mean, to the I mean, seriously, I, I can tell just from your final score, you're inconsistent. This is the lowest 
proof, I think, on the show. <laughs> no. And you gave it like a It's the juice. Score. It's the juice. I, this, anyway. no, 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 no. It's the bottle, the green. Right. You I cannot Jules, get this I, in the United States. I went right. Jules. If this had any other label other than Blanton's, yeah. you would be like, it's not fit for my dog. And I don't even think you have a dog. So there you go. Yeah. Yeah. I All mean, right. I think me and Jules I, actually nailed this song. I came yeah, up totally to it too, go. just okay. for you guys. There, you for the, there we for go. The, okay. This is a, yeah. All right, final I don't category. Know. I, I don't know. Let's yeah. move on, guys. Final category, bonus category for value. <laughs> you guys might yell at me, but I gave this a 0. .5 because this is a $48 bourbon. I'm not going to yell at you because I gave I it got, a zero. I, got I gave it a five. zero. Yeah, I'm man. actually thinking and going got, down. So we, we got a zero, a uh, uh, 0.5, 0, 0.5, 0. Tag, yeah. tag me in. Tag, yeah. Just let me know when I can be tagged in. You're, okay. Go. Points. You're in. <laughs> All right, go, man. Go. go, go, go. go. Okay. No, oh, my God. This is, a, <laughs> this is a zero. Because one, I, have a knife. <laughs> I, your butcher, had to go to Europe to get this. Yeah. Because it's not a U.S. market. So already we're like plane ticket anybody. But two, if this is what they're exporting, good. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. I'm not. And you know what? Sold. It's not worth the price. Sold. It's not worth the traveling. Reach on. Get the well. Um, I haven't even. I had will the gold apologize. Ben, tap me in. So, I will right. apologize right. to the international. I'm, I'm going down to a zero. I'm going down to zero. Yeah, there it is. There it is. The butcher. Unanimity. Yeah. 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 No, guys, come on. I just, I just, I just <laughs> talked about consistency. I just went from. <laughs> 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 All right, guys. Um, <laughs> those are Biden words. I think everybody except for Jules changed their score. So let's get our final tally here. This is gonna be interesting. Oh, man. Ben, 6.0 from the book. I think I'm still going to be consistent. All right. Across All right. the board. Dylan, final score. I gave it a 7. 6.0. Right. And I gave it a 6.5. So the official Bourbon Guild score for Blanton's Special Reserve, the Green Label, wow, the green label, <laughs> label. 80 proof version, 6.375. So do you think, I mean, the black label, the Japanese black label is basically the same thing, yeah. right? So, is it? Yeah, is it the same proof? It's, it's, it's also oh, single it barrel? Okay. Yes. Yeah. All right, well, we'll have to get a lot of that next Well, time. interesting, yeah. guys. I mean, I don't think this is definitely, well, maybe not, yeah. I mean, I think we all agree it is a better than average bourbon. Yeah. But when we're viewing it in light compared to Blanton's, it just kind of has a pale shadow. I don't know. It's the same juice, guys. Just brought it down to 80. And if you if if you guys so review the, the other juice. ones and they're like, oh, this is a ten, I am <laughs> the fighting words. Yeah, no. Well, hey, the proof is in the pudding, and the proof is very important. So, yeah. Jules, eighty proof. <laughs> Will you guys tell us what you think in the comments below? Can't wait to see them. <laughs> give us a thumbs up if you like this episode. Uh, give us a subscribe. Uh, ah. Subscribe for more videos from the Bourbon Guild. Hit that bell icon to get notifications too from new videos. Check us out on Instagram, Facebook, our website. Tip your bartenders for a bourbon that hasn't come from Germany and is ma and is made and distributed and sent shipped here in the good old U.S. of A. And tip your bartenders when you order that. I apologize to the international viewers. <laughs> <laughs> bourbon Guild out. I'm not. I don't know what the hell happened. I expected I would like this would be the Ben Richards jam, right? Eighty yeah. proof Blanton's wine. Like <laughs> nobody is more surprised than me. I'm like this fucking shit is thin. It's and so I'm thin. Here it's so thin. <laughs> I, you added water. Oh, I would guys. like. I would. God. I would break out a. Oh, I would dude. break. Out, I would put this in a spoon like a heroin addict and and torch it up to see if this would get better. I'll do anything to try and coax some shit out of this. The, the finish was lingering and not pleasing. The the taste was thin. I'm trying to do anything here. Wow, where was all this during the review, man? Wow. <laughs>